Hey everyone, this is Stefan from Byte the Bytes, and in this video I'm going to show you a few things about the material system in World Creator. Okay, so, um, as with the filters, you also have the materials separated in a, in, a, in a folder called materials. And here there is a plus icon where you can add different material types, like the color, the gradient, texture, substance, and the default material. The default material is already added by default when you run a new project. And that material is basically a gradient material. So we're going to ignore that for now. Um, so we just start with a simple color material as our initial uh, material now. So what material, uh, what materials all have in common are the um, basic material settings like the tint color, metalness, roughness, and the use shape layer color. Um, this is here a very simple color material, so that's why you only can choose a color here. Um, yeah, you have these typical settings, just like in other tools as well. You have these uh, hexadecimal values here. You can enter RGB values here as well. Um, you can save colors if you if you select a color here, and you click the right button in any of these empty fields. You can save multiple colors um, and store them away, and you can. Always select them by clicking the left mouse button while you're hovering with the mouse over them. Another thing is the color picker, as you can see here. Um, this adapts automatically when I move my mouse. So you can also just take a color from, from within the application or outside of the application. For example, you could um, take a color here inside the application by hovering over the color and pressing the space button. Or if you go outside of that application, you're hovering um, on your desktop or in the uh, browser window or, or, or uh, over an image, you can do exactly the same by just taking the image, uh, pressing the space button while you're outside and it takes the color. Okay, <clears throat> now let's take a look at the next type of material and we're starting here with the texture material. So um, that is pretty cool, simple because um, you have the saturation, contrast, brightness, your normal strength, all these typical settings that you would have for textures. And I think the most important one here is like selecting which texture you want to add. So if you click that button here and let's say you have a bunch of textures, you click here the color, it automatically imports given on a pattern that you can adjust under the, um, the options. Um, the normal maps, the roughness, uh, ambient, and the displacement maps. Now you could use, for example, a tile size to manipulate that texture. How is it applied on the terrain? You can see we have a pattern that is quite visible here. So you could use stochastic distribution to eliminate that pattern. Um, sometimes you might have some stretching along um, um, very um, high sloped um, edges here, so you could use, for instance, Drupala projection to get rid of it, to make it uniform. And this also works um, for um, substance materials as well. You can, of course, offset the textures uh, along the X and the Y directions here. You can flip the normals, uh, you can increase the normal strength, and so on. So this is, um, yeah, this is a typical texture material, just as known by other applications too. Now let's move over to the next type and we're choosing substance. So the substance material has exactly the same settings like a typical texture material, except that you only choose a substance file. And so let's take, for example, that one here. It's just the same <clears throat> texture inside the substance that we have seen in the texture material previously, but in now it's using procedural substance materials. So here you can choose what kind of map you want to use. You can choose the resolution of the substance material. You can adjust the colors here. So actually the substance here, 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 all the substance material settings are exposed in some work creator and it works with the latest substance files that you created or that you downloaded or that you purchased. Like you could enable water here then you would have water applied using the substance material settings. We're not going to cover these because these are uh, depending on the substance file. Um, and if you are, yeah, if you're common with substance, you already should understand how the system works. Okay, then the next one are the gradients. And these are really interesting ones 
because a gradient basically has uh, yeah at least two colors from from which to blend from like like here uh, from black to white um, but of course you can create um, new colors here and yeah set up the gradient depending on on on, on the colors that, that you select and then you can also adjust the gradient how it should be applied the next uh, question would be like okay i've added the gradient material but i don't see it on the terrain that is because the gradient has a specific distribution called the gradient distribution we're going to cover distributions in the next video so i'm just showing you in this case the gradient distribution uh, which means a world creator now needs to know um, how to apply the gradient on the terrain not in meaning of where the gradient should be applied on the terrain but how the colors should be applied on terrain features to the terrain and that is accomplished by the gradient distribution a very quick and simple example would be like selecting here the height gradient so you can see world creator now takes the lower part up to the possible uh, up to the highest possible part and applies the gradient colors along these along the elevation of the terrain starting from zero to one now you can use these ones here to do a different mapping on how it should be applied so you want to start with uh, more, more, more with red instead of black then you can move that <coughs> picker here and yeah um, yeah specify the range the gradient range another thing would be like um, there are also presets that world creator ships with so if you click here on presets a small window opens up where you can hover over and choose a gradient that you want to apply here i'm going to choose that one here now um, gradients can be inverted of course you have settings like saturation contrast and brightness and now this is really interesting you have that gradient detail um, toggle here if you disable it you will see that it's a simple blending between a few amount of colors it's very very smooth and if you do the gradient detail work creator calculates some detail into the gradient so you can see the streaks better and so on so these kind of streaks can be adjusted here you could for example reduce the detail strength the probability uh, you could DA um, the shading strength of the gradients and offset and all these ones these gives you really important and nice features to texture your terrain very very quickly and color it just as you want that's what the gradients are actually meant for um, in some other applications they are called set maps so you can yeah it's exactly the same behavior we have extended that a little bit with a few more features um, making it pretty nice and interesting for you to use okay so that's it for the materials now you know the basic materials that are available here on a work creator in the next tutorial video i'm going to show you the distributions on how to use the materials really effective to color your terrain using distributions and effects okay hope you enjoyed stay safe